and happy Thursday. How are you today? Are you feeling like this? Or maybe you're feeling like this. Or perhaps, ooh, you're feeling like this. Or, oh, like that. Is this the way you feel today? Or your last option is, ha ha. Well, however you're feeling, I'm glad you're here. I would like for you to have your grammar workbook open, please, to page 74. We're gonna do a tag team today where I do a little bit with you, and then I tag you and you do some by yourself, and then we tag back and forth. It'll be lots of fun. Let's begin with letter A, reading it and analyzing it together. Begin. Lucy will not leave for school without the note. Order of analysis is phrases, clauses, principal elements, and modifiers. Are there any prepositional phrases in this sentence? Yes, ma'am. For school is a prepositional phrase. Without the note is a prepositional phrase. For is a preposition. For what? School object of the preposition. Without, preposition. Without what? Note, object of the preposition. What kind of note? The note. Adjective, modifying the noun. Lucy will not leave for school without the note. This is a sentence and it is declarative. This sentence is about Lucy. So Lucy is the subject. This sentence tells us that Lucy will leave. So will leave is the predicate. Leave is the predicate verb because it shows action. Will is the helping verb because it helps the verb. Will leave how? Not. Adverb because it modifies the verb. Leave where? For school. This is an adverbial element as a prepositional phrase because it modifies the verb. We'll leave when or we'll leave why without the note. We'll leave how. Any of those questions would work. This is an adverbial element. Oh, I'm gonna go all the way across here. because it modifies the verb and is a prepositional phrase. All right, at this point, I want you to check yours. And check mine. And now you are going to do letter B by yourself. Do that now, pause the video now, do letter B, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, let's check letter B, begin. Earlier, she forgot the envelope on the counter. Order of analysis is phrases, clauses, principal elements, and modifiers. Are there any prepositional phrases in this sentence? Yes, ma'am. On the counter, prepositional phrase. On, preposition. On what? Counter, object of the preposition. The. Adjective, modifying the noun. Earlier, she forgot the envelope on the counter. This is a sentence and it is declarative. This sentence is about she, so she is the subject. This sentence tells us that she forgot. So forgot is the predicate. It is the predicate verb because it shows action. Forgot what? Envelope, direct object because it receives the action of the verb. Which envelope? The envelope. Adjective, because it modifies the noun. Forgot when? Earlier. Adverb, because it modifies the verb. Forgot where? On the counter. This is an adverbial element because it modifies the verb and it is a prepositional phrase. So all of those 
Little lines and letters need to be on your letter B. Double check that yours looks like mine. And then you will go ahead and do letter C. Pause the video now, do letter C and come back to me. Welcome back. Let's do letter C and see how much you got correct. Mom reminded her again about the note. Order of analysis is phrases, clauses, principal elements, then modifiers. Are there any prepositional phrases in this sentence? Yes, ma'am. About the note is a prepositional phrase. About, preposition. About what? Note, object of the preposition. The adjective, because it modifies the noun. Mom reminded her again about the note. This is a sentence and it is declarative. This sentence is about mom, so mom is the subject. This sentence tells us that mom reminded. So reminded is the predicate. It is the predicate verb because it shows action. Reminded whom? Her. So her is the direct object because it receives the action of the verb. Reminded when? Again. So again is an adverb because it modifies the verb. Reminded how? Reminded how, when, where? Reminded, reminded why? About the note. It's how she, what she reminded. She reminded about the note. So this is an adverbial prepositional phrase because it modifies the verb. A, D, V, and P, R, E, P. Check that yours looks like mine. Move now to letter D. Do that one by yourself and click back on to check your work. Welcome back. Letter D is cleverly, she played, I'm gonna move this up. Woo. Cleverly, she placed it in the lunchbox. Order of analysis is phrases, clauses, principal elements, and modifiers. Are there any prepositional phrases in this sentence? Yes, ma'am. In the lunchbox is a prepositional phrase. In, preposition, in what? Lunchbox, object of the preposition. Which lunchbox? The adjective, because it modifies the noun. Cleverly, she placed it in the lunchbox. This is a sentence and it is declarative. This sentence is about she, so she is the subject. This sentence tells us that she placed, so placed is the predicate verb. Placed how? Cleverly. So cleverly is an adverb because it modifies the verb. Placed where? In the lunchbox. So in the lunchbox is an adverbial element and is a prepositional phrase. Yours should look like mine. Double check. All right, now we're gonna scooch on to the bottom of your page here. We are not gonna rewrite them as the directions say. We're gonna continue practicing our editing skills. So you're gonna go through and look for capitalization and punctuation, okay? Remember when we capitalize, when we find an error in capitalization, we put three lines under it. So let's look at this one, ready, begin. Gentle April showers often bring May flowers. The first Word in a sentence must be capitalized. So you want three lines under there. April is a month, a specific name of a month of the year. It's got to be capitalized. May is another name of a month in this sentence. And you are missing an end mark, which is a period, and we put a circle around to show it. You are gonna move on and do B, C, and D before you come back to me. Now I want to tell you that names of types of flowers are not capitalized. You're only looking for the beginning of the sentence and the months of the year and the end mark. You will do B, C, and D, and then come back to check your work. Do that now. All right, well done. Let's move on to the next page. You are ready to start checking that work. B, let me get it up here. B, you should have marked the D of do with three lines under it, and you should have the A of August, triple underlined, 
and you should have a question mark with a circle around it because this is a question. Do goldenrods and sword lilies dot to the August gardens? Question mark. Letter C, you're checking for three underlines under yellow. And S for September and a period with a circle around it. That's how you edit that, that sentence. Check to make sure yours looks like mine. D, February is the beginning word of the sentence. It is also a month of the year. There are no other capitalizations in that sentence, and so we just need to finish with a period. And there you have it. You are gonna complete um, number three all by yourself. It says, imagine that at lunchtime, Lucy finds the note she was looking for. Now write a sentence about it. Be sure to include a prepositional phrase. Please mark your prepositional phrase. If you say, um, she went to the garden or in the closet, Whatever prepositional phrase you use in your sentence that you come up with, I want you to mark it using those same prepositional phrase markers so that I know that you know what you're writing about. All right? Take a picture of all that when you get finished, and I look forward to seeing how you're doing. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.